Internet security is at a really interesting position right now because everybody deals with it. Everybody is concerned about being hacked on the internet. You know, I have some very uh, fond memories of being in class and having my substitute come in, you know, and I pull out the hackertyper.net. I'm getting hacked. It's moving too fast. Oh, this is not good. I'm very technology oriented, as I'm sure you no doubt know or have figured out by this point. And the other day, I decided I was going to attack my own Wi-Fi network and try to hack into it. And it was surprisingly easy. You can get free software right now that can try thousands of password combinations on your Wi-Fi until it breaks in. But any rational person can sort of push that out of the way because it doesn't make sense for somebody to sit outside of your house and hack into your Wi-Fi unless you're some sort of unless you're of huge significance. I didn't realize how plausible some of this stuff is, okay? And let's let's get into that right now. You've heard, no doubt, that free Wi-Fi connections are risky. There's the whole thing when you're setting up a Windows computer where it asks, you know, is this home Wi-Fi or public Wi-Fi? And it's because of how easy it is to infiltrate a free Wi-Fi network. Now, I have an old Android phone here. It's a Samsung phone. Now, what I've done is I've downloaded a free piece of software called um, Z-Anti. And basically, it's for the purpose of companies and people to test their security. The easiness of being able to get into a network and view everything somebody is doing on that network is completely terrifying. If we go in here, man in the middle, and go ahead and activate that. I have this on now, so what it is doing, it's intercepting the Wi-Fi network right now. And with this, we can do some pretty freaky things. This is my, one of my websites, I should say, um, chancesof.org, and it's a wiki. Basically, it has an HTTP website and an HTTPS version of the site. For the uninitiated, HTTP, the old way to browse the internet. Think of it as a pipe. Um, there's a pipe connecting from the server where the website is to your computer, and the pipe is clear, and you can see all the information going through it. HTTPS is just like that, only the pipe is not see-through, it's solid, and if somebody were to cut it open instead of seeing the web page or whatever you're downloading, they would see just complete gibberish, and it's decrypted once it gets to your computer, and that way, the hackers can't get into it. <laughs> I sound like an old person when I say that. But, I mean, honestly, it's true. And as a web developer in my spare time, I never really understood why HTTPS is needed for websites where you don't input a password. The most popular websites typically use HTTPS and most of them involve passwords. So it makes sense. Google has a list of the top websites that use HTTPS and those that don't. The reason HTTPS is important will be relevant in a second. And if you're watching this and you're like, Avery, this is super boring. I'm not into this tech stuff or whatever. Keep watching because this affects you no matter where you are on the technology spectrum. If you use the internet, you need to see this. Okay. So, give me a second. Back to the demonstration though. If I am on the HTTP version of my website and I pull up my trusty application I was using earlier that's used to demonstrate this sort of thing. And now I can view all the requests going over the network. So, once autofocus does its job, come on now. So now every time something is loaded on the network, if I reload the page, boom, pops right up, okay? And if you enter a password in over this HTTP connection, I can actually view the password from this phone, which is like, oh, that's a little bit scary, but it gets even freakier. This enables HTML injection. Now that's just a fancy word for saying I can put whatever word I want at the top of the web page. Not only that, I can embed a YouTube video. I could put a thing that redirects to download some sort of virus. I could, I could do a lot of stuff with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and for the sake of our testing, 
type in hack by Avery. So now, theoretically, when I reload this page, since it is an unsecured website, at the top of it, it will say hacked by Avery. Let's see. That's slightly terrifying. You'll notice if we go over to Google, it's not there because Google uses HTTPS. So we're fine on Google. But for instance, let's see here, CNN apparently doesn't use HTTPS. So if we open up CNN, there should be the hacked thing at the top of it. Let's find out. Hacked by Avery. I can replace downloaded files now with whatever file of my choice. You could download a file that is actually legitimate and I could just replace it with the virus. So that's fun. And to demonstrate this, I am going to replace every image on an HTTP site. The dog wants in. Charge He just walked away after I, oh, you dog. What do you think about it, cat? <laughs> what are you doing? Why is your arm out? I'm gonna replace every image on an unsecure site with my profile picture. Um, very nicely drawn by Glitchmutt. Thank you very much. So now that I've enabled that, we can go ahead and go over to, so apparently ask.com does not have HTTPS. Let's see. Pizza. Do you see that? <laughs> Look at that. Now, obviously, this is only on my Wi-Fi network. If you connect to my home Wi-Fi network, this will affect you. Otherwise, you're okay. But if you're sitting inside a Starbucks somewhere and you, you open up a legitimate website and it redirects to, let's say, Avery Miller's YouTube channel, you know that, and it redirects to like a, um, some sort of download link uh, to, to a crypto locker to encrypt your entire computer and hold it for ransom. There's one thing here that I'd like to talk about. This is called redirect HTTP. This is just a tool. So point is, it's a lot worse than this, but I'm just trying to demonstrate this. But since it's a demonstration, I'm just going for the basics. So if we go in here, we can redirect any website that does not use secure encryption to my YouTube channel accessed through this network so it's on let's go back up here let's reload the page see if it worked it says hacked by avery on the top oh check it out redirects to my youtube channel do you see why this is scary let's say hey i want to i'm gonna go check out <laughs> well nobody says this because it's daily mail but let's say Oh my gosh, I accidentally clicked on Daily Mail while sitting inside of Starbucks. What am I gonna do? Oh no, it redirected to Avery Miller. Um, that's a bad use case actually because it's de-promoting myself essentially. Instead of Avery Miller, it was to 4chan. That place is terrifying. What if it was to, what if it was a download link that would download software on your computer? And even scarier than that, is this the one feature I was talking about earlier that allows you to replace any file downloaded with a file of your choice. The point is, if you own a website, use HTTPS immediately. If you're just a normal person, you should be okay on your home network. But if you're on public Wi-Fi, this is where you really need to be careful. You need to use HTTPS at all times or have a VPN, and this is just basically a video warning everybody about how easy this type of attack is. Um, as always, shout out to, over here, the Hall of Patreon supporters. Manny's number one. Now actually, no actually, I'm currently on vacation on a um, houseboat. So if this video is out of date for some reason, for instance, if I have gotten another Patreon supporter, um, since I filmed this by some um, and crazy stroke of luck, um, then I apologize. But I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye!